Hello and welcome to this very special webinar broadcast. I'm so pleased, so happy that you have joined us because if you are a self-published author, if you are a single title author or independent publisher or small press publisher, for many years, in fact, in time immemorial, we were unable to, to sell our books to the library market. And not only that, much less actually license or rent our, our ebooks to that market. And that has since changed. And again, one of the reasons why I'm so pleased that you are here is because we're actually going to step you through the process of how to go about um, selling and renting your books to libraries, not just across the country, but actually worldwide. And before we jump into today's training, um, I did want to let you know that we do have a sponsor, and surprise, surprise, we will have an offer for you at the end of today's presentation. However, you're not going to hear much about that offer until we actually thoroughly and completely deliver on our promise to you, and I'm going to tell you more about our promise in a few moments. I did want to let you know that the way to continue your education with us is with a program called Real Fast Library Marketing where we show folks just like you, that is independent authors and publishers, how to sell more books faster to libraries worldwide and nationwide. All right? So I also just referenced a promise. And you might, you might ask yourself, well, Daniel, what is that promise? Well, here it is. Essentially, in this presentation, we're going to show you a whole new world of publishing profits by exposing the immense library opportunity that hardly any independent publishers or authors even know about, much less how to plug into and harness in their own business. And in this very webinar, the one that you are on right now, you're going to learn exactly what it takes. So a bit about who we are. My name is Daniel Hall, and I am an author, a speaker, consultant, coach, lawyer, believe it or not, and a nurse, again, believe it or not. Fortunately, I don't have to do either one of those two things anymore to earn my living. Uh, I have essentially have become a publisher myself. In fact, I am the creator of a popular Real Fast brand of training programs designed to help folks like you, authors, speakers, coaches, consultants, trainers, internet marketers, and entrepreneurs effectively grow their business faster and profit more effortlessly with the information and materials that I bring to the marketplace. But that's enough about me. Let me introduce our star here, um, and that is Miss Amy Collins. And Amy is going to be our main presenter here today. And let me tell you a little bit about Amy. She actually has a really great pedigree for exactly what we're, what we're going to cover. That is sales to libraries, uh, book sales to libraries. And she is the former director of sales at Adams Media in Boston and a special sales director for the parent company that is F&W uh, Media. She's been profitably selling to libraries since 1996, and in 2006, she started the successful book sales and marketing company called New Shelves Books. Now, over the years, she has sold to Barnes & Noble, to Target, to Costco, Borders, Books A Million, Walmart, and one of the things I love about her um, is she's become a trusted partner and a recommended sales consultant to some of the largest book and library wholesalers in the industry. Now, here's the key for you. I mean, that, all that's wonderful. But the key for you is that Amy, in the last 20 years in, in her career, has been responsible for selling, get this, over 800,000 books into the library market for, again, folks like us, small and mid-sized publishers and authors. So with that, I am going to, uh, to pass the, the virtual microphone over to you, Amy. Welcome. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. And it's great to be here. I'm a uh, big fan of the Real Fast program and the whole Real, Real Fast grouping, so I'm, I'm really proud to be a part of it. So let's get right to it. Daniel mentioned a little bit about how and why 
to sell your book to a librarian, but I want to tell you that my staff and I spend a lot of time on the phone with librarians every day. And what we're hearing more and more from them is they do buy from self-published authors. They do buy from people on CreateSpace and Ingram Spark and Lightning Source. They actually even sometimes buy from Amazon. So we're going to get into how and why you, as a single title author, as a multi-title author, as a published author, or as a self-published author, wherever you are in the process, we're here to tell you how and why you can sell your books to librarians and when the time is right, even rent your ebooks to them. Some of the things I'm going to share with you today is exactly how libraries buy books. You don't understand the process, you don't understand how they get the books onto their shelves, you will very soon. We're also going to go into the kinds of books they buy. Make sure that your book is the right book for their shelves. We're going to cover how you can benefit from libraries no matter where you are in the publishing process. If your book is new, if your book is old, where you are, we can work with you. We're also going to take care of explaining exactly how the money comes in. Right now, if you're an author and if you're, especially if you're self-published, the money seems to always be flowing out. Well, with libraries, it comes back in. There is a way for libraries to sell your book that will make you money and it makes you money while you're not paying attention after a while. You get the ball rolling, but eventually those viral sales end up in your bank account. We're going to look at how to get your book into libraries. We know now how libraries buy. We know what they want to buy. We're going to actually walk you through the process so that you can see exactly how to get your book from your garage onto those library shelves. And I really would love to tell you again about this passive income idea. This idea of library sales confuses people. They, they often ask me, Amy, so I sell one book to a library and they loan it for the rest of my life. How is that going to make me any money? Well, this is how it makes you money. They buy one library book and they put it on their shelf? Yes. But that library starts having success with your book there's a waiting list, all of a sudden other libraries in and around that system, they want your book too. And next thing you know, the library down the street has ordered it. The library down the street from there has ordered it. You may end up selling your book to one library and having to do that work. And next thing you know, 25, 30, or 100 libraries in the same system are seeing the success of your book and they're ordering your book without you having to do a thing. Also, with ebooks, Ebooks now are sold and licensed to libraries at a much higher rate than regular books. So keep in mind that yes, you can sell your ebook to a library, but they can only rent it out or loan it out one book at a time. Eventually, with success, you can go back to them and start licensing that ebook and getting more and more copies in there. That viral sales growth happens if you get started the right way. And we're going to walk you through today everything you need to know to get started and to get the ball rolling so that you can experience some of this viral sales growth. I want to remind you that according to the American Library Association, 90% of libraries in the U.S. now lend ebooks. Now the American Library Association, the Pew Foundation, Nielsen Book Scan, there's a number of organizations including the Book Industry Study Group that all say the same thing. Libraries lend ebooks and avid readers shop at libraries. Avid readers, besides going to libraries, also buy books, a lot of books, and we're going to cover that as well. These avid readers that shop at libraries, visit libraries, and who also buy books, in some cases, their households buy on average nine books a month. This is a wonderful way to get your book in front of these avid readers. It's like free advertising, and in some cases, it's like getting paid to advertise. I want to remind you as well that there's a lot more libraries out there than bookstores. There's over 13,000 public libraries just in the U.S. alone. That's just the U.S. And some of the things that the libraries that I deal with in my databases, it's U.K., Australia, Canada. So just in the U.S. alone, there's 13,000 libraries. That's four times as many libraries as there are bookstores in the U.S. Don't you want your book to be a part of that? And these libraries, they have money. They have budgets that they need to spend every year. 
If you're sitting in Los Angeles or New York City right now and listening to this video or watching this, the annual library budget for your city is over $25 million. And in many cases, if you're sitting in a library system that services a community that has a half a million people or more, you're looking at over $4 million a year annually that is budgeted and given the libraries to spend on books just like yours. And I promise you, librarians do buy books from print-on-demand and from self-published authors. I have personally called hundreds, and my staff has called thousands of libraries just in the last year, and we always start with the same question. Do you buy books from print-on-demand? Do you buy books from self-published authors? And just about every time the answer is yes. The few times we've gotten no, the answer is yes if they're local. But libraries do buy print-on-demand and they do buy from independent publishers and authors. And this is exactly how they buy a book. We're going to walk through this right now, step by step. We start as authors and as independent publishers by registering books in databases. If you are also the publisher, you can register your book in these databases worldcat.org. On BookScan, you can get your book in through Bowker, Books and Print, myidentifiers.com. These databases, you can register your book. And if you're published by another publisher or a co-publisher, however you are actually getting out there into the marketplace, if you have a publisher, then you can work with them to make sure your book is properly registered in all the databases. Once you're in the databases, then you can approach the wholesalers. Whether you publish your book or it's being published by another publisher, you have the ability to reach out to Ingram, to Baker and Taylor, to Brodart, to Quality, to the Unique, and to ask them if they would consider stocking your book or at least listing it in their list of books that they can receive or that they can order on a library's behalf. And once your book is available from those wholesalers, you then are allowed, not only allowed, encouraged, to go to libraries and present your books to librarians. Don't worry if you don't know how to present your books to librarians. We're about to cover that. And as was mentioned earlier, there is a course that I actually teach that can get really in-depth if you find that this is not enough to get you started. If you're interested, we'll be talking about that more at the end of the hour. Once your book is presented to librarians, your book will be scheduled to be bought. Now, that doesn't mean they're going to buy it right away. Some libraries spend all their money right at the beginning of the year. Other libraries get their money monthly or quarterly. Depending on the library system, they may or may not have money to buy your book right now. Most of the time, they've spent their money for this year or this quarter. You need to wait until they've got another budget allocation coming in, so then they can schedule your book for purchase during that budget. But it will be scheduled. And once the librarian purchases the book from the wholesaler, the wholesaler is going to turn around, keep their cut, but they're going to give the rest of the money to you. So that's how it works. Your book is registered in databases, either by you because you are the publisher or by your publisher. You'll approach wholesalers, and you will make sure that they all know about your book. You're going to present your book to the librarians. Your book will be scheduled to be purchased because the librarians are going to be so impressed by, this, by you once you've taken this course. The librarian will then buy the book from the wholesaler, and the wholesaler will pay you. It's, it's as simple as that, guys. That's how it works. So the way to get librarians to agree to buy your book is that you need to understand and approach them with what they need. They've got goals. They have bosses. They have criteria. They have things they need to accomplish. If you understand a librarian's goals and what they need to see and hear, you will go a really long way to getting your book onto their shelf. Some of the things they need to see in here is that you do understand their goals, their budget, what it is that they want. And we're going to cover that in the next slide. They want to know that you offer ease of ordering. And by ease of ordering, I mean, is your book returnable? Is it available from the wholesaler? Does it have reviews and third-party recommendations? Are you making their job easier, and are you creating demand? Ease of ordering means, is it easy to get? Is it available where they shop? Is it recommended by a third party? A third party could be something as simple as this wholesaler. So if you offer an ease of ordering, you will allow these librarians to acquire books that their visitors will enjoy. 
the number one goal for a librarian is to acquire books and materials that their visitors will actually check out. They are considered a successful acquisition librarian if their checkout rate goes up. They're also considered successful if their foot traffic goes up. Library traffic has been increasing over the last few years, but in an individual library, if foot traffic rises quarter to quarter, the librarians are considered doing a very good job. And the better job that you can help them do, the happier they'll be with you, and the more likely they'll be to order your book, and then recommend your book to other librarians. Librarians chat with each other. They're very, very friendly and helpful people, and they like to help each other. So if you can help them stay in budget and serve the community, which is one of also their biggest goals, if you can help them achieve these four goals, they're going to mention that to other librarians, and your viral sales will start taking off. So what kind of books are librarians looking for? They're looking for a professional design. They're looking for a book that has a strong cover design. A cover, such as the one I'm showing you here, will go a long way as opposed to a homemade cover or a cover that you slap together yourself using your best friend's artwork. Make sure you have a professionally laid out and designed book. Make sure it's properly priced. If you have a 96-page paperback on a particular topic, let's say it's a nonfiction book, let's say it's a book about taking care of your elderly relatives when they're still in their home and they, they, you know, they're still in their own place. If you have a 96-page book that's fantastic on this topic, you don't want to price it at $24.95 when every other book on the topic is $14.95 or $16.99. Make sure you understand where your pricing and your packaging falls in your competitive marketplace. There are books out there like yours, I promise. No matter how much we like to believe that our books are unique, almost none of them are. Your book is not unique. There are other people who have sold books to the same readers that you're going after. Find out how much their books cost and make sure your book is priced properly. Is your book in a category that librarians need? If you've written a novel, a romance novel, and it's gotten tons of reviews and great awards, and you've got third-party recommendations, and it's priced at $14.99, it's a paperback, it's five by eight, it's perfect. It's exactly what a librarian wants. But that particular library is stuck with romance novels. They don't have any more room on their shelves for romance novels. That's no problem. Move on to the next library. They'll remember, maybe they'll come back to you. But with 13,000 libraries out there, you need to go after the libraries that have a need for the categories that you are publishing in and that you are writing in. Not every library needs your category of book, no matter how good it is. And are you providing cataloging information? There are codes and there are categories in and for every book in the library. And if you understand these codes and categories, and if you're providing them to the librarian with your material, sometimes called a CIP block, Catalog and Publication Block, either on your copyright page or in your sales materials, you will prove to that librarian that you know what they need. You're going to show them that you're not going to make them look up all of those codes and all of those categories. You're going to hand it to them so that they can just accept your book, and it will go a long way in moving your book from the maybe pile to the yes pile. And when they've got another book that doesn't have the catalog and the information in it and the categories information in it, you very often we'll see them move that book from the maybe pile to the no pile, just because they have other books that it's easier for them to get them into the computer system. So remember, your first step after getting into all the databases is to register with the wholesalers. Some of these wholesalers may be familiar to you. Some of them may be new. So let's take a look at some of these names. The main way into the library system is through Baker and Taylor. Baker and Taylor was purchased by Follett. Follett is a very large university and school library wholesaler that has purchased the largest library wholesaler in the world, Baker and Taylor. And together, they own Access 360. Access 360 is an ebook wholesaler. So I would say that the biggest, the biggest gorilla in the jungle is Baker and Taylor, owned by Follett with Access 360. That's a wholesaler you'd like to apply to. If you're also applying to other 
ebook wholesalers, you don't want to forget Overdrive, 3M, ProQuest, which is owned by Bowker. You really want to apply to them as well. And if you are a Lightning Source or an Ingram Spark customer, or if you're in CreateSpace and you've checked extended distribution, your book will already be listed in Ingram. Ingram Wholesaler is a fantastic way into the library market. Ingram has the library market locked down in the U.S. in many, many cases, and just being in Ingram is often enough to get you into thousands of libraries. But don't rest on your laurels. Once you're in Ingram and while you're applying to Baker and Taylor, it's also a very good idea to apply to Brodart, Quality, and Unique. These three library wholesalers service a lot of communities on the East Coast, in the Midwest, and on the West Coast that would prefer to buy from them rather than Baker and Taylor. And lots of times they offer better terms. So applying to all of these wholesalers is definitely your next step. And a, it is not hard. We have these classes the, that Daniel and I are offering actually walk you through exactly how to fill out the application, where online you can find them. We walk you through the whole thing. And once you're registered as a vendor and your book's available through those wholesalers, now it's time to sell to libraries direct. I told you a few minutes ago that we were going to cover exactly how to pitch your book to a librarian, and we're about to do that right now. It starts with the process, and the process is extremely simple. It's mainly done through email. There's an initial email, there's follow-up emails, which we've written for you. We're about to take a look at one now. Phone calls are optional. I love the phone. Not every librarian wants to hear from me at 2 o'clock on a Saturday afternoon, so they prefer email in many cases. But there are times that nothing gets in the way of a phone call. Nothing improves upon a phone call. Picking up the phone and being able to say to somebody, hi, my name's Amy. I have this book. I'm from your area. Or I have this book, and I'm promoting it in your area. Or I'm promoting it online will often get a conversation going and teach you a lot about the market you're selling into. If you're not comfortable on the phone, this step is optional. But if you're good with the phone, I highly recommend that you take a look at some of the parts of the course that we're teaching because we actually show you exactly how to make these phone calls. We've even recorded some so you can hear what they sound like. You can have someone else do this for you. This process of finding the library, sending out the emails, doing the follow-up is a little time consuming. It takes about 20 minutes a day. That's how much time we dedicate to getting our books out every day here at Real Fast Library Marketing. And if that 20 minutes a day, if you find it's better spent doing something else, you can hire someone from Craigslist. You can hire a virtual assistant. You can have a relative or a neighbor take care of this for you. There's lots of stay-at-home moms who can handle this sort of outreach and who are great as a follow-up. So this process, mainly with email, some phone follow-ups if you can, can be done by someone else, but whomever does it, we're looking at about 20 minutes a day, five days a week, just to get that, that snowball started. Once it starts picking up momentum, that can drop down. But to get started, that's what we're looking at. And these emails, as I said, are all written for you in our course, but I'd love to walk you through one right now. Right now, we're going to walk through the initial email that you will send an acquisition librarian. So, I have a database of libraries, and I know that the librarian in Duluth, her name is Susan, and she's the one who buys nonfiction reference books. So, my letter will read, Dear Susan, my name is Amy Collins. I am the author of a reference writing book that I was hoping you would consider stocking in your library as a print book and an ebook. So there it is, right up front. I am starting my letter by telling them exactly what I've written and what I want from them. I am writing to ask them if they would consider stocking in their library as a print book and an ebook. Bam, there's the request. We're not going to waste their time. We're about to launch a marketing campaign in your area that includes, now, in my case, I'm willing to do radio interviews. So if I'm going to pepper the Atlanta, Georgia, or Duluth, Georgia area, I'm going to start before I call the libraries, reaching out to a few newspapers and radio stations in that area. So I'm about to launch a marketing campaign in your area that includes radio and newspaper motion, as well as an ongoing online and blog campaign. And I'm contacting libraries to let them know 
that there will be some demand during and after this campaign. Remember I told you that libraries and librarians have a goal of driving foot traffic into their locations? You are fixing one of their needs right now. The name of the book. So my book, blank, ISBN 978, put your ISBN down, is a book that helps publishers and small presses and single title authors navigate the publishing industry. Do you hear how short that description was, guys? It was very short. Do not go on and on. I have other things I'm in attaching to this email. I am attaching a one sheet about my book. I am attaching a marketing plan. I'm attaching a sheet about me and how fabulous I am. The cover letter's purpose is to let the librarian know that you understand their goals and what they need, and you're providing this to them in a short, very respectful letter. You're respecting their time. So keep your description of the book incredibly short. The truth is, they're more interested in the marketing you're doing than what your book's about. Once the marketing campaign begins, we will be directing readers to the libraries that agree to stock it. So if you're willing, I'd like to send you a PDF or a print copy for you to review. Always start by suggesting the PDF. It's a lot cheaper to email a PDF. The name of your book. Okay, so my book is available at, and here's where you list the wholesalers. Remember I said you, you go to the wholesalers first. So my book is available at Ingram, Baker and & Taylor, and Brodart. Ease of ordering. Make their job easy. List it right for them. Oh, the librarian will say, I love to order from Brodart, or Baker & Taylor is my preferred vendor. So you just say, available at this list of wholesalers, fully returnable at the full discount, and the ebook is available for licensing from Overdrive and 3M, or whatever wholesalers you've gotten into, if it's Access 360 or Ingram. Ingram Spark has a terrific ebook sales program. So make sure you list the wholesalers where you are, makes their job easier. I have attached a marketing plan and an informational sheet for you to glance at before the print copy arrives. Please give me a call or just reply with a quick note that it's okay to send and I'll get you that PDF or book right away. You're asking them to reply to your email, not with a promise that they'll buy your book, but simply that it's okay for you to send them a copy. You are starting a conversation and if they respond back, which most of them will, Yes, I'd love to see a copy, or I'm not the right person, or no thank you, I'm not interested. Librarians are notoriously polite. They will, for the most part, respond. When you get a response, you then have a conversation started, and that is all you're looking for. You can then go back and forth with them. Even if they've said no, at least you got an email. You can write them back with a thank you and say, I'm just curious. I'm kind of new at this. May I ask you a quick question about how you acquire books? And use that, that in to start a conversation. So that is my advice for how to first approach a librarian and the letter and slash email that you'll be sending them. And again, in that email, there's other materials. There's a sales sheet. There's a marketing plan. We cover a lot of that in the course that I teach. But this email will go a long way to get you started. So let's recap the process. Let's go right down from the beginning. Remember, you first, before you go to the wholesalers and certainly before you go to the libraries, you need to register your book at the American Library Association Buyer's Guide in WorldCat. You should register your book and make sure that it's in Books in Print through Bowker and MyIdentifiers.com. Make sure that it's in all the databases where librarians may be looking for your book. A list of those databases are available in the course. You then want to approach the wholesalers and get your book available from those wholesalers. Baker and Taylor, Brodart, Ingram, if you're with Ingram Spark, Create Space, Extended Distribution, or Lightning Source, you'll be in Ingram, but there's others, such as, as I said, Baker and Taylor and the ebook wholesalers, Overdrive, 3M, Access 360. Make sure that you approach them first. Then approach the librarian. The book will be scheduled for purchase during their budget calendar, the librarian will actually buy the book, and here's the best part. If the book does well, the librarian or his or her coworkers will then order more. And my favorite part of the process, these last three steps out of the six happen automatically. Once the librarian has agreed to, to order your book, she'll schedule it or he will. They'll order it from the wholesaler, and as the book takes off, the new orders come in seamlessly, and they happen without you having to do a thing. My favorite part is selling the library. I have a client. Her name is Julie Dewey. 
who sent one book to a library in Boston a few weeks ago. And that one book was put on the shelf. It went on the front table, new in this week, and a couple people checked it out well. It did so well. So many people signed up for it, and they were so interested in it. They then came back and ordered more. And without Julie knowing anything about it, she suddenly received a PO for 36 copies from Baker and Taylor. She didn't know what it was from. It's because that one Boston library told all the other librarians about her book, and she is now, without having to lift a finger, in 25 libraries in the Boston area. And these libraries that you see here, I'm pointing these out to you right now, these libraries that you see here, Onondaga, Mid-York, the SEO Automation Consortium, Dayton, and Douglas County, all of these libraries, she got those in the first week. She's enjoyed working with me. I've enjoyed working with her. But this is not unusual. Our clients and our students, they learn what they need to know to get their books into libraries. Julie's just one of them. And I'll be frank, one of my favorites. So again, why are we doing this? Why are we spending 20 minutes a day? Why are we hiring sales assistants? Why are we sending these emails out to rent our books, our e-books to libraries, and to sell our paperbacks to them? Because libraries and library sales grow. It happens virally. We're talking a lot of avid readers. Avid readers visit libraries. According to the American Library Association and the Book Industry Study Group, Almost 40% of Americans have been in a library in the last month. 58% of Americans have a library card. And almost 40% of Americans have been in a library in the last month. Now, yes, that includes kids. So if you're a children's book author, that's terrific news for you. Only 5% of Americans, from according to the Pew Foundation, have been in bookstores in the last month. 5% of Americans have been in a bookstore. Almost 40% have been in a library. Don't you want your book on the shelf? And getting the eyeballs of some of those avid readers in the library. Remember, there's a lot more libraries than there are bookstores, and a lot more people visiting them. Librarians have a budget that they have to spend. Why not spend it on your book? Library traffic is increasing. And returns. The book industry is plagued with returns. You may have decided not to sell the bookstores because you don't want the returns. The nice thing about libraries, the average library return rate for the last year is 3%. 3%. It is incredibly low risk. And finally, libraries are a terrific place to do public appearances. If you would like to get involved with a book club, if you want to do a workshop, if you're a fiction author and want to do a reading, a nonfiction author and want to do some sort of seminar, libraries are the perfect place to set those up. I want you to keep in mind that you can rent your ebook to libraries. You can license your ebook to libraries. You can sell your print on demand book to libraries. Gone are the days where they only take offset printed books by the top six. They are buying books from self published authors all the time now. You can get paid for both your ebook and your print on demand book. I want to remind you again that almost 40% of Americans have been in a library in the last month. Less than 5% of them have been in a bookstore. Libraries have money for books renewed every year. And Avid Readers, their household, not each reader, but the Avid Readers household, buys on average nine books a month, and they visit libraries. And your book in a library means more chances of somebody finding out about it. And if you've enjoyed and if you've learned anything from this session and from the things that I've taught you, there's a lot more to go. We actually have, Daniel and I, put together the Real Fast Library Marketing Program. It takes everything we just taught you and goes a lot deeper. We have dozens of video tutorials. Now, don't get overwhelmed by the fact I said dozens. They're short. They are short, bite-sized videos that walk you through the process. The first video, it makes sense that it's the first video. And then you build on that, and you watch the next video, and then the next. They're short, tidbit videos that walk you through the process and teach you everything you need to know about selling to libraries. We have all the sample letters, all the sample emails you could possibly need, how to approach the libraries, how to follow up with the libraries, what sort of materials you need, what sort of marketing plan do you need. We have all of the templates for you in Word documents that you can download, and you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can make them yourself. 
These sales materials, including the one sheet and the author sheet, these are things that I've developed over the years. They're exactly what librarians are used to seeing, and it's what they want. We also have databases. I mentioned that there's almost 13,000 public libraries in the US. There's thousands of libraries in Canada, thousands in the UK, thousands in Australia. We have all of these libraries in our databases, phone numbers, names of the librarians, addresses, in many cases, email. And we actually, as part of the Real Staff Library Marketing Program, for the first time ever, we turn those databases over to you. We have recordings of actual sales calls. I know it's scary to pick up the phone. That phone is heavy. It's 300 pounds. I, I get it. But wouldn't it be easier if you'd listen to me and some of my sales reps make those calls first? hear those recordings and hear exactly how they go and what real librarians said to us when we picked up the phone and we made that call cold. And the Real Fast Library Marketing Program includes a great deal of support and hand-holding. I am here, my staff is here for you every step of the way. You're not doing this by yourself. We have years of support that's built into this program, which we're going to cover in a moment. So I would like to introduce to you the Real Fast Library Marketing Plan. We have three programs that we'd like to offer to you that will help you get your book into libraries very, very quickly. The first one is the Easy Plan. And if any of these plans appeal to you, I want to remind you that you go to www.realfastlibrarymarketing.com slash go. Realfastlibrarymarketing.com slash go is the website where you can sign up for any of these programs. So the first program, the easiest plan, of course covers how to prepare your book for library sales. We covered your cover needs to look a certain way, your book needs to be priced right, it has to be set up a certain way, it has to have certain catalog information on the copyright page. We cover all of that. And if your book doesn't have something it needs, we teach you exactly what you need to know to redo the book and to relaunch it so that it's perfect for the marketplace. And not just libraries. This advice that we offer will help you get a lot more success in every aspect of the marketplace. We go over the best way to contact libraries so that they're receptive to buying your book. Yes, it's nice that I give you the email. Yes, it's nice that I teach you how to make the phone call. But there's also advice as to when to contact the libraries. What time of day? What day of week? What happens when a librarian says this? What do I say? We cover all of that. Some librarians do not like to be called at all. But I promise you, there's not a single librarian in the world that wants to be called at noon on a Saturday. They're a little busy. So we give you our experience. We have gone through all the hard knocks. We have literally, accidentally, broken the wheels off a number of our own trolleys. You don't have to do that. You can take our experience and you can miss those ruts in the road, you can keep going without making any of the big gaps that we have. And there are other tools as part of this easy plan. There is the Real Fast Library Members Only Facebook group. I am in this group a couple times a day. Sometimes I'm in it all day. We have so much fun in this group. There are hundreds and hundreds of students just like you who are selling to libraries and who are asking questions. Wait. The librarian asked me if I'm available at Amazon. What do you mean, Amazon? Do libraries order from Amazon? All of a sudden, we're finding out in the Real Fast Library Facebook group, libraries are ordering from Amazon. Oh, we were completely flabbergasted. We're getting on the phone. Where I'm asking questions, as, and my staff is asking questions. We're getting back into this Facebook group, and we're answering questions as fast as we can. People are confused, and they're asking a question because something showed up in the news that they don't understand about library foot traffic. I go ahead and I do the research. I come back with an honest answer. If I don't know the answer, I admit it. We go, we find out, we come back with the real truth. I enjoy interacting with everyone so much in this Facebook group. And it actually has turned into a great deal of free consulting for them and a great deal of fun for me. It's a great learning tool and one that alone is worth the price of the course. Definitely. And you know, the other cool thing about it, Amy, is the fact that people when, when they're in the Real Fast um, Facebook group, the Real Fast Library Facebook group, it's, it's no more guesswork. You don't, if you get lost, if you, if you try to figure out, I mean, there's, if something comes up, if some obstacle comes up that 
that you didn't see or we didn't see, well, you have you have access to both Amy and I, and that I think is uh, again just just saying what what Amy just said. It's worth it's the price of admission just for access to us in in this group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and again, we have a we have a lot of fun. It's not all work. It's it's a lot of education, but it's also a great deal of camaraderie. I've also mentioned those recordings that are made of libraries. Every time my staff learns something new or we have a new glitch, I make them record the call. We add it up onto our members list. We're constantly updating these recordings so that you can learn, again, from what we're finding by being out there on the front lines for you. So this easy library plan, this easy library plan that covers exactly how to prep your books for library sales and also, this preparation helps for bookstores and other places. It teaches you exactly how to get your book into the wholesalers for library distribution. It gives you all of the templates, all of the emails, all of the sales materials, the sample marketing plan, the sample one sheet, the author sheet. It, it covers everything. It talks at length in easy to digest and very understandable, and I would say the teacher is somewhat charming, these small video <laughs> tutorials that allow you no laughing, Daniel. I can be charming. Yes, you are. So these, I agree. <laughs> these small tutorials that allow you to build on the last one. Each one builds on each. This easy plan is $347. And I want to remind you to go to www.realfastlibrarymarketing.com slash go. That's the website to go if this interests you. But before you sign up for the easy plan, that includes implementation to special member-only webinars and the Facebook group and all of the consulting that comes with that, we want to remind you that we have a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you sign up for this course and it turns out that there's something about your book or something about the program that's not a good fit, 30 days, as long as it's within the 30 days, no questions asked, complete, hassle-free, 30-day money-back guarantee. I have another client, his name's Carew, absolutely great guy. He's got a book out there called The Legacy Letters. He went through this program with us, and he got his book into tons of libraries in under 90 days. Will you be able to do this in 90 days? It depends. It depends on how much time you dedicate. It depends on where you are in the process. I mentioned to you before that this works in any part of the process. If you're still writing your book right now, this program is perfect for you because you can actually learn how the marketplace works before you print your book, before you end up getting the copyright page made. People like Carew, whose book was already out and it was in the first few months, he can get up and going a little bit faster, and that's how he got into over 40 library systems in just 90 days. There's also an easier plan. If you want to do all the work yourself with the easy plan, we give you every tool you need. You, it, we give you the emails, we give you the tutorials, we give you the training. You then can go out and you can forge your way into the library market. But we can actually make it easier on you. Again, these details are at www.realfastlibrarymarketing.com slash go. But this easier plan includes a tutorial on how to outsource the entire process. It gives you all of the data that you need sample help wanted ads, sample non-disclosure agreements, sample job descriptions, checklists. If you want to work with someone else and have them do it for you, we have a tutorial module, both video and in writing, that walks you through the process and makes it super easy for you to figure it out. You do not need to figure this out for yourself. We've done it for you. I've been doing this for years. Learn from my experience. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. And here is the biggest the biggest thing we offer. If you actually opt for the easier plan, you get my database. Now this database I have been working on since 2008. It is completely vetted. It has been, it has been created and updated daily for many, many years. And it is constantly being updated now. It's being updated again as we speak. These librarians in the US, in the UK, in Canada, these public libraries and the data and the information on how to get a hold of these people is not available anywhere else in this format. And let me tell you a little bit about the other format it is available in. The American Library Association will rent you 
their list of members. You can rent a list of American Library Association libraries, but you sign an affidavit that you it is for rental only. You will use it one time only. It is for one time use. It may not be duplicated. And they charge $150 for each 1,000 names. You will see that my database includes 18,000 names. And it's nowhere near $150 per thousand. You're about to see the price. But this easier plan, which is not much more expensive than the easy plan, includes all of my databases. And you can use them as often as you want. You're not signing an affidavit saying you only use them once. You're not renting the list. You own the list. So if you go to realfastlibrarymarketing.com slash go right now, you will see that the database that I'm offering you includes telephone numbers. The ALA list doesn't. You will see that I am selling you this list for you to own. It is not for rental only. Of course you can duplicate it. And that I am selling it to you for a much lower price than the ALA is listing their rental list. If you were to buy these same names from the ALA, it would cost you almost $2,000 from the American Library Association. We, however, are offering the database as part of the Easier Library Plan for $497. For $497, you get the videos, you get the recording, you get the templates, you get all of the contact information and the databases, the public library database, a university library database, international databases, and what we get at this point, if you sign up for the Easier Library Plan, is we will at that point get your ebook listed for licensing through ProQuest, which is the largest ebook information aggregate in the country. All of these things are part of the easier plan. Guaranteed acceptance in one of the largest ebook information aggregate companies in the country, a full database, a video tutorial with the templates needed to outsource the entire process using either a virtual assistant or a sales assistant, including information on how to hire them and how to work with them, and everything that went with the easy plan. So Daniel, for less than $500, I don't even know how we're doing this, but I'm just going to, is there anything you want to add before we, we move yeah, on? Because actually there's the, actually an easy F plan. Yeah, so here's the thing, the, the, the database, that database that, that we provide within Real Fast Library Marketing, that includes not just like the ALA database, you know, uh, libraries within the United States, but also libraries essentially in most of the common law countries, Canada and in the UK um, and Australia. And it gets, so it goes way beyond actually what, what is even available with the ALA. And that's a really, that's a very, very cool thing, especially obviously if you want to sell, either you live outside of the United States or you wish to sell your book outside of the United States. I just wanted to make sure folks understood that. And if you are from outside of the United States and you'd like to sell into the U.S., our program works for you. I would say that easily, with, without even breaking a sweat, I can tell you right now that at least 15% of our students are selling from outside of the U.S. They are, you know, they're getting their books print on demand, either through CreateSpace or through Ingram Spark. They're working with us and they're working through the system. So if you would like to sell into the U.S. but you're not here, this program is for you. Definitely. I also want to mention again about that 30-day money-back guarantee. This is risk-free. If you go to realfastlibrarymarketing.com slash go, you will see that if you sign up for this program, you have 30 days to evaluate it and see if this works for you. Jeffrey Blount, another client of mine, works with me, and he said some very nice things that we wanted to share with you. Remember up before I said I could be charming? Well, he says that Amy's lessons are straightforward, concise, and quite funny. Her wealth of knowledge is immediately impressive, and she'll teach you the world of libraries and independent publishing in a clear manner, and then offer, that offer many different options as to how you can conquer that world. I want to remind you again that these classes that we're teaching is for the library market. However, these classes that we're teaching actually can spill over to all different parts of the book marketing. What you learn here, you will be able to take out into many parts of the book marketplace. Yeah, and, and I just wanted to also say that the marketing that you do for the libraries also benefits all the other venues and all the other outlets for your books, whether they be online or in retail outlets. And not only that, the 
the implied third-party endorsement that your book ha gets when, they, when it gets into a library system. Let's say it gets into a prestigious library system like Chicago or New York or Los Angeles. That's, that looks very, very good and reflects well on, and, on you as an author and the quality of, of your work. Very, very, very powerful. But let's tell folks about, for those that want a little higher touch, the, one, the ones that want you know, a, a, a little bit more hand-holding, what, what we have with the easiest plan, Amy. If you've got the tutorials, and if you've got the templates, and if you have the distribution, and if you've got everything set up, including the databases, that's terrific. But we're also offering, as part of the easiest plan, all of the tools that are in the first two plans, all of the databases, everything that you need to get your book into the marketplace, but in addition, we're offering time with me. It's not enough sometimes to set out into the marketplace. Some people would like a little bit more one-on-one -on -one consulting. They would like a little bit more face time with me. They want direct access to me. And as you're implementing your campaign, if you'd like to know that you're doing it right and get real-time feedback on how things are going and how you might be able to adjust or change what you're doing a little bit, or that you're doing it perfectly and don't change a thing, this sort of consulting is priceless. Our EZX plan, which is the plan that includes everything, including full hand-holding and, hand -holding and support, this plan includes me and my staff at your disposal for up to two full years. This plan does include the videos. It does include the tutorials. It includes the databases, the, the tutorial on how to outsource the entire process, all of the recordings. But it also includes one-on-one -on -one consults with me, my email, my staff's email. Yes, the Facebook group is awesome. It's absolutely the way to go, and, it's, and I am there every day. But if you need me, then you might want to consider the easiest plan. This plan is $697, but it includes two years of staff support plus a one-on-one -on -one consult with me. Once you get up and running, the way it works is you go through the classes, you take the, the lessons in, and once you start implementing, then you and I get together and we go over everything to make sure you don't have any questions. You'll have questions, and I will be there for you. I'm happy to answer them. And as you move forward over the next couple of years, You'll have more questions, and I and my staff will be there to answer them all. This easiest plan is $697, but I want to tell you guys something. I charge almost $300 an hour for my time. $300 just to spend an hour with me. Trust me, I'm worth it. And, uh, and you know, some people, Definitely. everybody, <laughs> thanks, Daniel, but everybody who has signed up for this easiest plan they're getting a lot more than an hour of my time a lot more they're getting all of the tutorials all of the tools plus the one-on-one -on -one hand holding and the consulting and again this plan either the easy plan for 349 the easier plan for 497 or the easiest plan for 697 three very very affordable plans all include a 30-day money-back guarantee. This 30-day money-back guarantee can be found at realfastlibrarymarketing.com. Go, and you can find all of these details and these prices right there at that website. Right, and it's probably going to be at it, right directly below where you are now watching. If you're not already at realfastlibrarymarketing.com forward slash go, you'll see all of the, the buttons on which of these plans best suits you. So go ahead and, um, and choose, choose one of them. And remember that you are in, in completely backed by the 30-day money-back guarantee. So you know, essentially, all of the risk is on us to perform, and none of it is on you. So our invitation is, Go ahead and try us, uh, and, and you will see that, that, number one, there's nothing else like this out in the marketplace at all. Um, and, and, and number two, that there is, this is the path. If you want to finally get your books into, you have the prestige of getting your books into the library system, this is the path. It's laid out here in front of you, step by step, no guesswork. 
all of the help that you need is here. And, and all of the support is also right here for you. So I'm going to ask you if you've made the decision to go ahead and grab it right now at realfastlibrarymarketing.com forward slash go. Amy, uh, back over to you for closing remarks. I was talking to one of our students today, and she's written a, a wonderful YA middle grade reader book. And she said that she's bought courses in the past. And what ends up happening is that the, the course itself is not deep enough. It doesn't give enough information. She says that the iceberg, the peak of the iceberg, does, is, is not, does not go deep enough in the water. And she, one of the things that blows her away about this course, and she said it to several people, and she said it to me, and she gave me permission to share it with you, she has said over and over again that the depth of information in this course and the ease in which she's able to absorb it is unprecedented. She has bought many courses in the past, but this is the one that has taught her the most. And I really would love for you to be a part of this, guys. I would love for you to join us at Real Fast Library Marketing. Get in touch with me on Facebook. Get in touch with Daniel in our Facebook group. Ask the questions. Go through the process. You will learn so much. And with a money-back guarantee, there's really no risk. I am asking you to join us here at Real Fast Library Marketing. We're really looking forward to seeing you.